One of the assumptions of an analysis of variance is that the variances for within each group are relatively equal. You don't see a wide spread in one group and a narrow spread in the other. So this is an assumption we make and I'll show you how to test it and then if it's violated what to do. So you go to analyze compare means in one way ANOVA just like in a regular ANOVA and then in this case I've picked something called subject area taught. There are three subject areas and I want to see the skills, the web page design skills of each of those three subject areas. Okay, And so I'm going to pick a post hoc test. In this case I'm going to pick Chef A. And then options. And what we have here, I, I always pick the descriptive statistics, homogeneity of variance test. So I want to test the variances between the three subject areas. And then these are the two tests that are follow-up tests if the variances aren't equal. And they're called the Brown Forsyth and the Welsh test. And just for your information, if there's some conflicting information between these two tests, apparently the Welsh test is the one that's preferred. So I'm going to click continue and then I'm going to run this. And so you can see that we have our descriptives and then we have our test of homogeneity of variances and it's saying the Levine statistic is saying that actually the variances are statistically significant. That value is certainly less than 0 0.05. And if you take a quick look at the standard deviation, uh, that you can see that you have a 14 here, an 8, and a 12, so there's some issues there. So let's take a look. Well, the ANOVA says that there is a significant difference among these means. Uh, P is definitely less than 0 0.05. However, we can't use that ANOVA. We have to go down and use the Welsh or the Brown Forsyth statistic. Now, this is replacing essentially this statistic here and in this case we can see that both the Welsh and the Brown Forsyth statistics suggest that even if even though there is a significant difference among these variances it's okay because the groups are significantly different among each other regardless of that fact. Another way of saying that is this is a more rigorous test. You can see the significance is a little bit higher here. And so this is a more rigorous test to be used when the variances are not equal. All right. And if, for example, the Welsh test so showed significance and the Brown Forsyth test did not show significance, apparently the Welsh test, test is the one that's preferred. So if you want to pick one, pick the Welsh test. And that is the Brown Forsyth Welsh test when used within an ANOVA.